Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to the episode of my playthrough of Sly 2 Band of Thieves, one of my favorite video games of all time. In the previous video, we uh, we did a couple missions here around Paris, including breaking into Dimitri's office and planting a bug. In today's video, we're going to continue with breaking into Dimitri's places by following Dimitri. You'll also notice that I'm just collecting bottles because I realize this isn't a let's play. I don't need to make this like a like a, a video walkthrough or anything. I'm free to just play the game as I enjoy it. And that means collecting bottles randomly. So we're going to do that. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. So we are jumping right into the next mission here. We have this follow Dimitri mission. Quick bottle to grab though. Gotta snag the bottles. And uh, let's go ahead and ding the bell. Ding. Oh, I gotta smack it. I was gonna try and hit it with a triangle attack. It's Dimitri, the nightclub owner. One thing I want to mention is you'll notice that like the edges of the screen aren't occupied a lot. That's because this game was originally released on the PlayStation 2. And uh, it still has a bit of remnants from like overscan. So yeah, that's just a little issue. Not really an issue, just something unique about the game. Hey, so right now we are following Dimitri from the rooftops. We cannot let him see us, and we also cannot get very far away from him. But I do see a bottle that I want to claim. Uh, shoot, where'd he go? He's over here. He will stop at little points along the uh, along the quest. We just need to be alert. Hang out here. Let him uh, think he's not being followed. He will take us to his secret entrance to something. We don't actually know. We'll have to see when we get there. I know because I played the video game before, but you might not know if you are a new Sly enjoyer. Yeah, you can't get too far away from him, so it's important to stay somewhat nearby. I might actually be getting too far pretty soon. Where is he? Oh, we're good. Yeah. Walk tall. Step. I don't know what he says after that, but he likes to be smooth. He talks about smooth a lot. Smooth. And he also talks about the juice. He goes, juice? Who's got the juice? Like he's an XQC fan. He's a juicer. Dimitri the juicer. There he is. Uh, he's walking around this water tower, I think. Interesting choice of places to be. There's another bottle over there, but we cannot get that one just yet. If we climb to the top of the water tower, I'm pretty sure we're set for the remainder of the mission. Let's just see if we are sure. Oh, he says, who's that? No worries. Alright, so we do need to just follow him on foot now. Because he is going to punch in a secret code in this door. Can he remember the code? He can remember it. Ah, oh, he doesn't remember it? Ah, oh, he's got it. Oop, and he's in. And the music cuts out. Heck yeah. Well, there we go. The Aqua Pump. By the way, apparently this whole Paris operation takes place in a single night, which is like obvious because the time never changes, but they do a lot in one night. Like a lot, a lot in one night. Uh, let's get this bottle here and then we'll collect some more bottles on our way back to the, uh, back to the safe house. We will get into a, a spot of trouble. We should be fine. I, you know, we're gonna go ahead and not collect any more bottles because uh, I think if we collect more bottles, we probably will not survive. Now getting a game over isn't too big of a deal in this game. Running out of health just spawns you pretty close to where you were. There's no need to really panic about getting low on health, but you definitely don't want to engage in combat because it is a little tricky. Check it out, Eiffel Tower. All right, uh, let's go back to the safe house to switch members. You can see over there, there's a Murray icon in the sky. Water pump destruction. We do have to switch to Murray. Murray is a character we have met a handful of times. 
uh, so far in the game. Oh, we are really just blazing through these bottles, aren't we? I don't remember where they all are. We got a trophy for it. That's cool. I don't remember where they all are off like the top of my head, but I don't think they are incredibly hard to find. You pretty much have to be sly for them, though, because they're in places that almost only sly can, can access. There's a couple of ones that are on a rooftop here and there. Mostly sly. Oh, I want to get that one. I'll get that one later. That one I'll get now because we're right here. We'll collect them all. And then there's another bottle over by the water pump that is a sly exclusive that I missed, but it's fine. No worries. All right. I love, I love this game. Oh, being able to play this game is such a treat. Truly, I think one of my, it's one of my favorite games of all time. We'll go ahead and take out this flashlight guard. I, um, when I was in kindergarten, I drew a picture of the characters from this game. Sly, Sly Bentley Murray, and a flashlight guard. And uh, my mother would write the characters for me. She's like, who's this? I'm like, that's Sly. And she'd write Sly on the, uh, on the painting. Or not the painting. It wasn't, I didn't paint it. I just drew it with like a, like crayons. But she would, uh, she would help me out there. That's the thunder flop. We've seen Murray do the thunder flop before. But we're in a bit of trouble now. Murray is pretty well equipped to defeating enemies. We will see that momentarily, actually, because that is what this mission is about. We're in water pump destruction. Here we go. Murray, I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff. Not jumping at the circle button, just normal circle button. Got it. I'm pretty sure you can also just punch these with iframe. Oh no, it's not this one. There's one of these that you can just punch. It's like so close to the wall you can just you can just hit it. Oh, I missed. By the way, these little pickups here, that's that's health. Is it this one? I swear there's one it is this one. Yeah, you can just punch it. I missed. I missed. By the way, what animal is that supposed to be? Is this supposed to be like a warthog or something? Oh, yeah, what Bentley was saying is you can pick up enemies that are downed like that. Give them a nice chuck. And here we are in the, the water pump room where we need to use uh, living things to clog the water pump by throwing them in. Here we go. Wow, that was actually really fast. I think that's the fastest I've ever completed that mission in my life. We're helping out Bentley on his quest to make a good plan. Murray writes his R's backwards. That's kind of funny. Now we have another slideshow. Who's ready for a slideshow? Me. I am. Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers. Tail feathers. We'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. A few more jobs for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater. So New stealth we'll mechanic. Access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull out the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me. That's a fun mission. All part of the plan. That is a fun mission. All right, let's go ahead and wrap up today's video with Murray's mission. And then in the next video, we will do Sly's mission and Bentley's mission. So to get a quick overview, we have theater pickpocketing, moonlight rendezvous. Oh, we actually have more than I thought. And silence the alarms. I guess we don't get Bentley's mission until later. Hmm, minor spoiler. Uh, we can maybe also do midnight rendezvous. 
or Moonlight Rendezvous. That one's pretty easy. Yeah, we'll probably do Moonlight Rendezvous as well in today's video. We've got the time. Actually, it depends how long this mission takes. Silence alarms should be pretty easy, though. It's basically what we just did in the water pump room. That's just not true. We haven't played as Bentley yet, but Bentley could definitely do this job. Alright, so this task is pretty simple. It is throwing things at other things. A very I don't know why we... <laughs> what's, what's with the cat noise? Oh! Well, we've been spotted. We're fine, though. Uh, yeah, flashlight guards can't come up here onto the rooftops, but the smaller guards can. So that is something to be weary of. Something to be warned about. We can also throw guards to break the uh, alarms. We'll be fine, though. We're pretty much just running. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need... Here we have newspapers we can toss. Because apparently throwing newspapers is enough to deal massive damage. And throw. There we go. Oh, I found the water. See, I told you, sly characters do not like the water. They are not water-bound fellows. I need that. 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 I need it. Thank you. All right. Well, oh, hey. A lot of guards. Are we going to survive this? We will, because we're going to thunderflop. Holy, they rocked the boat. Okay. One more. <laughs> they kind of fight themselves sometimes. There's one more alarm system over here. Kind of back where we got into that conflict with Sly, actually. Uh, over by the nightclub side entrance. This is a fun little place to be, though. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, I was just thinking about it because I know there's a bottle over here somewhere that I missed. If you wonder, there it is, it's up there. If you wonder how I know where the bottles are, it's because they make little, like, uh, like, tinkling noises like glass wood so actually if the music would stop i don't know if it will you can sort of hear it like think don't think don't you know we got a second trophy hot dang oh hello guards good to see you oh, i needed you kind of no biggie hey we got cases that's cool uh these cases are actually relevant uh to the speed run of this game Depending on which way you're facing as you're approaching this, like the camera placement depends on a, a couple of factors and it influences the uh, RNG of the game and you can get extra cases there if you have good luck and good RNG. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap up with one last mission. We will do Moonlight Rendezvous. That's a fun one. It's a pretty simple one as well. It is not going to take too long. And we should be able to maybe get some extra bottles if we uh, if we are lucky. I might have gotten all the ones on the way already. Um, but yeah, we have like 21 of the bottles, 21 out of 30 um, bottles. And then we can go and use the bottles to open up the safe. Is there anything we want from ThiefNet, by the way? Not really. There's upgrades. I'm not really an upgrade guy, truth be told. I don't really buy a lot of those upgrades, at least I didn't back when I played, um, when I was but a wee lad. Um, and that's just because I don't- there's a little ability meter that appears below Sly's face in that little health bar in the top corner that I never liked seeing not be full, so I didn't use the abilities very often. Hold it, Cooper. Moonlight it's Rendezvous. Leela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please. I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. She's in on it. She said the claw gang sweet would come over here. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. Oh. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. She's a little she's a bit of a dirty cop. In this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. Fly! There are some missions in this game that don't make a ton of sense, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Sometimes they do some, some wonky things in this game, like 
all of a sudden we are literally running after uh, Constable Neela. Because that's why. It's it's just what, what the game feels like doing. Shoot, I smacked her on accident. <laughs> Whoopsies, didn't mean to abuse. I was using my square boosting trick. And, uh... And she got in the way. I will try to be less careless, Neela. By the way, I think she'll just run over you if you stand in place. Oh, she definitely won't. This is kind of funny. Where are you going, Neela? Where are you going? Where are you going? Alright, go ahead. Come on, I ain't got all day. Hurry it up now. Oops, I square boosted again. I'm gonna jump and hit the circle button. You know what I what, what I think bothers me so much about jump and press the circle button? Is jump is a button. Jump is X. Why don't they say press X and then press the circle button? I guess because because jump is naturally X and the circle button isn't naturally hang on to ropes and stuff. But what the heck? Jump and hit the circle button. X and then the circle button. Press the X button, then the circle button. Press the X button and the circle button at the same time. I don't know. Jump and press the circle button. I think I probably said it more times than the game has said it at this point. This is like my version of the Germa uh, uh, saw gas joke, which is equally as funny. Uh huh. Yep, indeed. Alrighty. Um, I think there's a bottle to the left. Yeah, there is. I just saw it pop in, but it's it's not particularly relevant, so we won't worry too much about. It. Are you, are you waiting for me? I know where we're going. I could just go there already. In fact, I think I'm going to. She leads us to this door. That Bentley mission I was talking about? Uh, you get it from this. You have to complete this mission in order to get the Bentley mission. Because this is... There we go. She'll explain it. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained the key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. Nice. So yes, we unlock the ability to get into Dimitri's back door of his nightclub. And that gives Bentley uh, a mission coming up pretty soon. Which we will do in the next video. We're going to end off this video by collecting the bottles in this area and then we are also going to take this uh this lovely chalice i believe it is back to uh back back to the safe house we have to tackle two things first uh-huh we should be pretty pretty good to go uh, there's a bottle over here as well. I don't know how many bottles I've claimed at this point. It's like a billion of them. Yeah, there's a bottle down here, which I will grab. 26 out of 30. That's not bad. Oh, I can't get hit here. Wait, this could be bad. 27. No, this is bad. We're, we're going to lose the chalice. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. How good of a sly player am I? Can't get hit once. One hit equals done. Oh, we got it. We're in the clear at this point. We're also only missing three bottles, which going from me being like, I don't think I'm going to get the bottles in unless I make a separate bottle video. And now like we pretty much got them all in one video. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, we can head over to Bentley. We can sell that crystal chalice and make a ton of coins. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for today's video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around, and I will catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.